We have a friend whom we call Surfer Matt. Last summer, he came to live with us in Malibu to help me with the boys while Mike was on tour. He was in New York visiting his girlfriend, Brazilian model Alini, and they're both vegetarians. I wanted to make a delicious dinner everyone would enjoy. This pasta is kind of like a BLT. It's savory and satisfying and easy to make. Start by chopping your garlic, onions, tomatoes, and broccoli. You can also substitute almost any vegetable for the broccoli. Toast about a half a cup of pine nuts with a little bit of salt. When they're brown, set them aside. I'm using a meat substitute called Bacon Bacon. It's made from tempeh and it tastes like bacon and it's delicious. Fry on both sides till it's crispy and set aside on a paper towel. Then put some more hot oil into your frying pan and add onions and garlic and red hot pepper flakes. Add your chopped tomatoes and stir and simmer. Then chop your tempeh bacon and add that to the frying pan. Add a little vegetable stock or water to create a nice sauce and then add your broccoli. Simmer and cover. Next I'm going to make a celery soup based on my any vegetable soup recipe that's in my cookbook. Melt one to two tablespoons of butter or margarine in a saucepan. Add onions, garlic, red hot pepper flakes, and celery. Add enough vegetable stock to cover. Hello, and serve. come in. We first met Matt in Kauai when he was 19 years old. His parents are yoga instructors, and he's a yoga instructor now too. Both Matt and Alini have a beautiful yoga practice, and they're also fantastic surfers. Now it's time for me to put the pasta in the boiling salted water. And when the celery is softened, it's time to blend it. Add cool water to the blender so you make sure not to blend hot liquids. They can explode. Matt and Alini played with the kids who were so happy to see them and I strained the soup to get rid of any chunks and put it back on the stove to simmer. Strain the pasta when it's al dente because it'll keep cooking a little after and mix it together with the sauce, careful to coat each piece. Drizzle with olive oil, sprinkle with pine nuts and Parmesan cheese. Serve the soup with a garnish of parsley or cilantro. It was a delicious dinner, and we were lucky to have a little visitor.